Welcome Ridge Life. Today on Ramblings, guys, I am back. I'm back on the ridge and it is cold. The sun is out, but guys, it's in the 40s right now. Going to be in the 20s the next two nights. I, I thought this cold was over with. I've got to winterize the camper, make sure I don't, you know, my pipes don't freeze and all that kind of stuff. I'd hate for that to happen here in March. Um, but it'll be all right, guys. It's, it's just going to be, uh, you know, below freezing for a few hours of the night. So I, I, I think it's going to be okay. I'll keep it warm with it, you know, the... The space heater inside it's a little windy right now guys so if i've got wind noise i do apologize what a weekend oh my goodness we i was in arkansas with my good buddy david on come on mountain for uh got there wednesday night stayed there thursday friday saturday and came back late sunday guys i got three and a half hours of sleep last night i got in got unpacked and then of course had to get up at four, just after 4 a.m and go to work um it was worth it though oh my goodness uh it was worth it uh, so much took place over those uh four and a half days and uh you guys got to see a lot of the ramblings and some of the uh day one day two videos there uh, on come on mountain uh the uh the reason for the visit was of course going over to help simple life reclaimed uh reclaim with their trusses and that video will come out once mel and gary get their video out which should be today you should be seeing that here in another hour or two and i hope you enjoy it um my video will follow and guys my video is going to be telling you what really happened with simple life reclaims trusses Woo! i don't know what mel and gary are going to show you but i know what i'm going to show you hey you ain't going to want to miss it i'm going to do a premiere also they're doing a premiere tonight and uh, you're going to want to uh, watch the notifications. Make sure you've got uh, notifications set up for Ridge Life, not just Ridge Life Ramblings, but Ridge Life, because I am going to do a premiere as well of what really happened. Oh my goodness. Um, talking about what really happened, um, I, got a, I got to do a awesome ramblings with uh, Anthony from Country Road Cure. And uh, during those ramblings, we talked about who broke uber <laughs> i thought uber was the best tractor david what happened there oh then it come to find out it's happened more than once he was keeping that from me oh he was keeping that from all of us well he he let the beans spill and uh old uber broke down and couldn't do uh, the work a tractor is supposed to do now oh blue don't do that uber does though so go team blue for the win mic drop Psh! okay let's move on <laughs> guys we me and me and david just kid each other i mean uh, we both respect each other so so much uh we rib each other back and forth and it's all in good brotherly fun we uber is an amazing machine Old Blue is an amazing machine. We both respect each other's capabilities. Uh, I know he's a better tractor operator than me. He's a better construction guy. He, you know, he 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 got he knows a lot more about those type of things than me, and I give it up to him all day long. Uh, there's a few things that I can do, and uh, he is picking them up, guys. We did YouTube University while I was there on Come On Mountain. Oh, Mike from uh, Drifting Dreamers 5 got involved with YouTube University. And um, Mel was in on part of the conversation and David is going to uh, uh, give her now. Mel, she can teach a class of her own on YouTube University. Of course, they have the silver play button to prove it. <laughs> but we've all got something to learn. I don't care if you're 100,000 subscribers or 1,000 subscribers. You've got something to teach and you've got something to learn that's for sure um so youtube university went very well and uh david's already uh implemented a lot of those things you you guys have seen memberships on david's channel come on homesteading and with memberships gives you extra perks now you don't need to be a member to watch come on homesteading you lose zero capability okay memberships give you boom 
boom, one little extra uh, incentive to be a part of the Come On Homesteading crew. You got different levels of membership and guys, there's different emojis associated with membership and different badges. Oh man, it's gonna be worth it if you wanna be a member of Come On Homestead. Of course, Ridge Life's got members and I learned some things that David set up on his memberships and I'll be adding to the perks on my memberships too. So new membership perks coming to Ridge Life very, very soon. I love my emojis and I love my badges and I hope all the members are appreciating those and you will be getting more uh, things from Ridge Life on those memberships. But again, you do not need to be a member to watch our videos, to participate in our lives, to do all those community things we do on our channels. Memberships are just a, a way of supporting a YouTube creator um, and, and, and you get something you get something back. You get that. You get that special badge to show your member. You get those special emojis that only members can use, and that's not a slight on anyone at all. Uh, so much confusion on how those memberships work. Uh, you get everything you normally had on YouTube. You're not getting um, anything taken away by a, a creator making memberships. Uh, it's just again a special extra thing for uh, those who want to go above and beyond and support that YouTube creator. So I, hats off to David for taking that uh, next step in his YouTube journey. It is fun. I love interacting with my YouTube uh, members. Um, I call them by name. I, 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 I every time I see one of their comments in you know in the in the uh, in the videos, got the little badge next to it. I'll say hi, Mary. Hi, Auntie Anne. Hi, you know, hi, all that. Um, and I know my members. Uh, and there's a few new members too. And thank you so much for that. Um, but that's enough with memberships. I was just letting you know what what David, uh, some of the things David did with YouTube uh, University. Um, but we had a lot of fun. Our ramblings on uh, the mountain were amazingly fun. Oh my goodness, they were amazing. And of course, I got to play with my new camera. This is not it, but I got to play with my new camera. And uh, the Ridge Life videos on the mountain uh, turned out very, very nicely. Uh, uh, I've got another one coming out uh, uh, day four, I believe it was. Uh, that'll be after our uh, trusses video. And that day four video is where I got to go to work. Now, Dave put a little bit of it, but he he hid, he did not show the full work I did on keeping his place from falling apart. Oh my goodness, that abandoned cabin, it needed some Ridge Life love, man, and I, I, I put it to it. And uh, um, you're gonna have to watch my video to see. You know, yeah, you, you saw the milling on David's video, but there's the stuff he did not show you're gonna see in my video. So make sure you check that out later in the week. I'm not sure exactly what day that's coming out. It all depends on one of my trust videos ready because I gotta make sure I tell that real story of the trusses, come on. Man. And guys, whenever you hear me say come on, it's at a hundred percent respect for David. Uh, I don't try to steal his identity. I don't try to uh, take anything away from David. Um, David does his thing the way he do, the way he do, and it's all him. And uh, those of us that uh, um, kind of say the things he says, because he rubs off on us, he rubs off on us, and he uh, deserves uh, all the credit for those things. You know, you 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 um, you mimic that which you respect, and uh, you know you um, you what's the what's the word I'm looking for? You know, you uh, you you reflect. You know, you you imitate imitate that which you uh, like. And uh, so if you see any of us imitating David, it's because we respect what he does. Um, uh, but I'm glad to be home. Uh, back in the uh, the Ridge Life camper, I've got lots of work to do. I've got lots of things. I've got to get the air conditioning fixed and I've, I've got the parts right here to fix them. Um, internet was a thing uh, I was struggling with and I have fixed of the internet issue. And you're gonna see a video on Ridge Life about that. And you're gonna see a video on uh, how to's and reviews about that because I'll give you the details on the product specifications on that. And I've got lots of uh, things coming out, out here on the patio area of the camper. Uh, very, very soon you'll be seeing. So yeah, I'm back and I've still got videos coming from the visit, um, but there's new things going on on the ridge. And of course, 
clearing that land over there. I've got contractors, um, my good buddy uh, Trip coming out with an uh, excavator, and I'm gonna talk to him. Maybe he can uh, forego the dozer. If he comes out with an excavator, maybe Old Blue can push the stumps and the debris out of the way while the excavator does the clearing. And that would be uh, half the price. You know, having one machine out here and I still get to put Old Blue to work doing what she does best, which is not break down and does the job. Sorry, Uber. Just take it easy. Don't, don't, don't blow your fuse, girl. Okay, don't, don't blow your fuse. <laughs> oh, let me see what time it is. I've got things I've got to do here tonight. I do not want to miss it. Um, but hopefully you're staying on top of what's been going on with the family. You know, Anthony and Roxanne's got tons of things going on. Uh, simple after claim, you know, the trusses, that job. Whew. Uh, Mel, uh, Mel put a uh, post on the commu her community tab with a picture of it. I've been, I've been not posting pictures of what happened there. And she posted a select couple pictures. So if you haven't checked those out, go do that. Uh, of course, Drew's lens was there. Drew and Lindsay from Into the Mist. Mama V from Possum Run was there. Uh, Mike, oh my goodness, Mike was MVP of the trust job. And you'll see that in both Mel's video and my video. That Mike from uh, Drifting Dreamers 5 was MVP of the day. He got there early that morning and started to work and he was like one of the last ones done working um besides gary obviously uh so hats off to uh mike from drifting rumors five dude you earned my respect uh, greatly this week uh with how uh dedicated you are to helping out the family and just going above and beyond you know because me and david you know we were the oldest guys there uh we we did what we do and uh um I pushed some. I pushed some boards. Did some muscle jobs. Um, David, you know, operated the tractor. Old Uber. Uber did a great job. I'll, I'll show you videos of that. And uh, David's experience, you know, input. I've got a little bit of experience, you know, in industry. And you know, we we all came together to develop a plan with Gary. And of course, uh, Drew. You know, Drew was in instrumental as well. But I'm excited for you to see the videos, guys. I, I, I really want to see Mel, Mel and Gary's video. And then, of course, I can't wait to finish my video. I've looked at all my raw footage. And, uh, guys, I got some beautiful video. I got some. That new camera, it, 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 it got some angles. It got some angles of some beautiful, beautiful things. Um, I got home. Uh, Grandma Carol had been taking care of the animals, the rabbits, and the chickens, and uh, she didn't do anything with the bees, obviously. Um, but I'm hoping the bees survive this cold weather because, uh, you know, things are blooming and stuff, and uh, then bees get active, and then it gets cold to get on them. And so uh, hopefully our four colonies are still four colonies. Uh, I'll be checking on them and give you some updates on the bee colonies very, very soon. Hopefully Simple Life, uh, or the Simple Life, the 41.36 colony, hopefully I didn't drown them out with that sugar water I spilt on them. Oh, my goodness, I'm, I'm scared to go look. I'm scared to go look and see if I killed the 41.36 bees. Ugh. I would be so upset because they were thriving, guys. They were thriving. But the rabbits are doing well. And remember, I bred them. And everyone on the uh, on the 41.36 and come on mountain are ready for their rabbits. Or already are preparing to be ready for the rabbits. And, of course, the chickens are doing well. And uh, I'm excited about getting that land cleared and getting the barn going. I mean, after being uh, on the 41.36 with the trust, you know, seeing what Gary's done with the cabin, it's got me fired up to build. And of course, David's always building. Um, and hopefully my videos reflected a lot of the work he's been doing. Cause he, he doesn't show a lot of the work he does on video. He, he, he's always working. David is always, always working. Um, amazing amazing work he does out there on come on mountain so guys i'm gonna get back in and take care of some things i just got home and i wanted to get this rambling uh out to you just as soon as possible this afternoon before uh mel and gary go live and uh hopefully hopefully you're watching this i'm should be just straight to youtube and you're watching this right now so um Love every one of you, and uh, thanks for all the uh, well wishes. Yeah, I chipped my window, you know, uh, on the way there, but hey, pfft, that's life, man. That's life, and, and uh, nothing would have kept me from the 41.36 and doing that job for them. Nothing, nothing would have done it. So guys, I love every one of you, and I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed evening. Don't ever stop rambling and go rich life.